Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment, take off at the end of your comment. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, we're getting ready to tally up all the views from this month and see if we hit that 10K views per video. If we didn't, it's okay. We'll do that at the end of uh, November where we're going to give away a next-gen console. All I'm asking is that we try to average 10K views-ish uh, you know, per video. And uh, to enter in that, uh, you're going to win a next-gen console. You'll have a chance to win a next-gen console. And all you have to do is like the video and comment whatever the word of the day is. And today, the day is takeoff for obvious reasons. Also, uh, at the end of every week, we give away $50 in either $50 in cash out, $50 in VC, or we give away a copy of a video game. So if you win this week and you want a video game instead of uh, VC, or you want some cash app instead of VC, let me know, and we got you. And uh, you know, uh, also number three, the bots are back in town. So you know that that's one of those things. I'm not putting my phone number down there. I'm not doing nothing. If you don't see Instagram or uh, Twitter or Black Planet, it ain't me, man. So you know, make sure y'all govern yourselves accordingly. But with all that being said, man, we don't we don't revel in death, man. We celebrate life around here. So good morning out there in 2K land, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. I'm gonna try to be as upbeat as I possibly can. I'm gonna say this right here from my guy, Real Rap, Real Shit, AKA Ronin Nick, man. He just says, I'm so sick of hearing about rappers dying, shaking my fucking head. Oh, shit like this. It's like it's every other month or something like that, man. Y'all already know. Y'all y'all know that the Migos is a huge part of every all my lingo. I mean, they from Atlanta, everything. And you hear me say something by takeoff, like literally every stream, every video. When I say shoot the money ball like Steve Kirk, hey, pipe it up, I got the pipe over That's 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 you know what I'm saying? That's Atlanta's finest. So we we just gonna we gonna move on, man. We just say hey. Heavy heart, we doing a video today with a heavy heart, man, and it just is what it is, man. But I ain't gonna speak too much on it, because like I said, we celebrate everything on this channel, man. So, hey, look, man, they young. Whew, yeah, that's a tough one, man. Let's just move on. Let's move right on, man. Look, the boy Shakedown 2012, man, he just said, real ones know which rival gave you the most buckets. And I, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I literally tweeted on this joint, bro. I said, bro, Am I the only well let me see if I can find my tweet in here, bro? Can I find mine in here? It's it's thousands, it's hundreds of thousands of tweets in there. But let's see if we can find what I put in there, man. You know, I'm talking about aka fresh fresh. There we go. I can't be the only one who that was instantly triggered by the sight of Hendrix Cobb face, can I? Bro, every single time I see Hendrix Cobb's face, I get triggered. Everybody knows that that Joker give you buckets upon buckets upon buckets. And hey, look, look, look. And Shakedown said, every bill you made had to face that dude and he was Hall of Famed out. Facts. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all let me know if Hendrix Cobb triggered y'all. Like, it's just his, somebody's face. It's just something about his face just triggers me. I'm like, ah! I hate him. One time I made a sinner, and he was a sinner. The next time I made a guard, he was a fucking guard. I don't know what they was doing with 2K. I couldn't escape the man. I thought that you was just gonna have to play against him. He was gonna be on the other team. No, you gotta guard him. You had to guard cut, bro. I couldn't deal with it, bro. I hated that dude. I just, I just got triggered. And it's just a snidely snot look that he had on his face, man. He just got one of them faces you just want to punch. But you know it is what it is, man. So it's, it's, it's all good. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Did y'all get as triggered by Hendrix Cobb as I did, or did y'all feel like, uh, you know, Hendrix Cobb wasn't even, even wasn't even that tough? Um. I felt like he gave you the most buckets, though, out of all them guys. You know, it is what it is. Because the Flying Dragon was probably next, because he going to do the Dragon Dump, but we ain't care about none of that stuff, man. Up next, hey, we got the boy Stax Montana. We trying to lighten his mood up a little bit, man. He says, I learned two things taking the kids trick-or-treating this weekend. Hey, he said, my family is pretty popular here. All the families knew us already from YouTube. That's number one. And number two, they take it to the next level over here. A couple of families was on the grill. You know I got me some. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, boy. We was out there yesterday, and uh, one dude, bro, I wish I had the picture. I probably posted it on Twitter or Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on there. Dude had, like, eight-foot-tall wolves and skeletons in the yard. He had, uh, he had um, the guy on the river sticks. 
the uh, ferry and across the river stick bro he had everything man i'm probably gonna put that on my instagram and twitter make sure y'all follow me on those joints man because bro it was crazy and that young man was giving not those survey signs yesterday man you pull up that joke and say i got that hydrogen for y'all boys man and you know hey and you know my son lj lj gonna be one of them guys that he gonna tell you exactly what's on his mind lj kept telling everybody everybody grab a hydrogen he's like drink responsibly drink responsibly hey it was it was hilarious but yo the neighborhood that we was going around man it was, it was crazy. Not that I'm, I don't live nowhere in this stacks, Montana, but I'm just saying I can definitely relate to that and all of that. Y'all let me know about this right here because the OG Grandmaster Sensei Swante said, game breaking glitches out. We need a patch. Are that game breaking glitches out? Or is that is that on current gen? Is it on next gen? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't I don't know if the, the if there are any game breaking glitches out and uh y'all also let me know if this is true what he's saying stills on current gens are crazy you have to play it to see it and one person says it's damn near unplayable so i don't know man he says um he says y'all were complaining in the nba 2 some other person said y'all were complaining the nba 2k22 was literally broken just to death to get better that's all that that's all i was told uh in 22 and he says adapt and stop crying I have I have 100 win percentage, bro. This dude here be that's why they be really be trolling, man. It is what it is, so it's all good. But yeah, y'all let me know. Are steals actually broken? I don't think they that bad, but I haven't played. I don't think they that bad on current on next gen, but I haven't played current gen at all. Are they really that bad on cur on current gen, or is there is there a way to protect the ball or something? If they are that bad on current gen, I could believe it though because. The steel system, you know, they really took NBA 2K23 next gen and condensed that down and put that in the current gen. So if steals were broken on next gen at the beginning of the last year and that's, you really couldn't even dribble the ball, we had all the unrealistic launches and all of the stuff that was like that in the game. If that was the case in, in next gen last year, I can definitely believe that current gen this year uh, really has the same issue uh, easily because, you know, like I said, they really just ported that game over from what we understand. I could be wrong, but that's what we understand. Up next, we got the boy Yadmin saying, removing adrenaline bars would make this game 10 times better for everyone. I don't know about everyone, my boy, but I, I'm, I'm rocking with you because that's my dog right there. Uh, he says, rim runners and three hunters, or, or he says, or having five adrenaline bars instead of three, you either dunk or or shoot a fade with three bars. I mean, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I, I, I just say, I, I say it's money on the floor. Just, just, let's just get straight to it. Like it just forces you to get right into your, right into your thing. I mean, brute don't play like that. But again, they would say that we don't play competition, but then we play in the wreck, and that's more competition than a lot of people play. Like I ain't got a lot, but we had some sweat games offline in the wreck yesterday. I believe we were down 31 of them games, but we came all the way back and won. Y'all want to see that? Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Pretty much, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Like I'm gonna tell y'all one thing that I learned from playing them sweat games in the wreck, bro. If you can't, if the, the if the threat of the steal is not there, you can get beat to sleep by somebody that's actually that's absolute ass on this game. Because like yesterday, I wasn't, I, I said, I'm not gonna press this dude the whole first half. I didn't press him the whole first half. And somehow them dudes literally score every time they lighten us up. Them boys is up, uh, up almost 30. And then they flopping and stuff like that. I said, okay, I'm about to start pressing. I was on a phone call, so I already wasn't playing the best. Y'all know how I be when you on a phone call, you talking, you already ain't playing your best. And these dudes wanna, and these dudes wanna fucking sweat. And then he started, he started flopping, bro. I pressed this dude the rest of the game. We came back and blasted him. So you know it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section uh, about that. But do y'all agree that we need more adrenaline boost? Uh, I think three. I, I actually think it's fine the way it is because the one thing that people keep forgetting is if they change it back to last year, and I don't know if anybody really enjoyed how it was last year, people keep forgetting that you got to guard that shit too. It's not going to make it better for anybody that has to defend it. It's only going to make it better for the people that that are on on the offensive end but i think three is plenty but you know hey we can agree to disagree maybe they'll split the difference and we'll have four hey four wouldn't be od i think five would be od because you already don't lose adrenaline in the backcourt and then you can go one way this way this way this way pause and then you like like i mean you know i, I just think it'll be different or maybe they can make it for you know for the stage guys just turn adrenaline off because they play a whole different game than us anyway so you know it is what it is but like i said i think we get pretty creative with three bars 
But like, a, but then again, I'm not a dribbler, so I can't really speak too much on it. Up next, we got the boy Faze Swag says, Swag, 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 cool with me. Hey, Swag says, movement was such a unique aspect to COD and uh, to completely just go back to the days of Call of Duty 4 style is ass. It's like taking the Euro step away from basketball. And you already know Kai, anytime somebody say something about competitive, Kai is in there, that boy Kai say, more like slowing slowing and taking out specific dribble moves. And uh, you know, that's how it is with us right there. And that's what they did with us right there. And I can tell you the truth, man, like they might as well just get over that because like both of the games in both aspects wanted to go toward a more realistic even though even though neither one is realistic in the slightest this is not even remotely real basketball you don't shoot a three every time in real basketball you don't say i'm not gonna take that layup in real basketball you don't dunk the ball every time in real basketball and so and you definitely don't come back when you get shot in real life you know no no pun intended no i mean it's a bad analogy but y'all understand what i'm saying it ain't no respawning in real life so we understand that neither one of these games is even remotely real let's get that out of the way right now but they both wanted to go more toward a more realistic and tactical type gameplay because uh, like basketball, it, didn't, it did not resemble the real life counterpart. So that's why they did that. And then, you know, you also got, you got uh, Call of Duty. They just wanted a slower paced game because it's gonna have to last two years. So they wanted something that they could work on and all of that. Like I said, as a regular casual player of both of the games, I'm cool with all the changes that they made, but if I was a hardcore pro, you know it might be might be what it is, man. Hey, the boy dies, he says, who cares what bill anybody plays on? Just who? Game still gotta be played, buttons still gotta be pressed. And that's what I be trying to tell people when they be like, eh, eh, Jay, you're just out there. You're just a corner center. You just da, 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 da. shut the f up. Shut the f up. Bro, if I don't, if I'm not able to hit my shots, or I'm no threat to hit my shots, or you don't have somebody else, see, this is the thing that be killing me, bro. People be like, man, you know, yo, you just a corner sitter, blah blah blah, this and that. But when you don't have people that can hit their shots or good players that can play defense, then it becomes a little bit more important. They love to try to tell you anybody can do what you do, but then when they get in their ass whooped because the person that they, because the position that they saying anybody could do, they're not doing it, then. It becomes an issue. Now, now I need a good corner sitter, man. I need some. I can't play the game. I ain't got no spot up. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. It's the. It's not the most. It's the. It's the least important position on the court. Anybody should be able to do it. I ain't trying to hear nothing. If you one of the people that say, "Oh, you just a corner sitter," blah blah blah, this and that. Don't complain when you ain't got a good one, because it doesn't matter. That's what you're telling me. It doesn't matter if he can play defense. Doesn't matter if he can hit his open shots. None of it matters. It's just like man, man, do like man, man, grind hard, grind the fuck hard. I used to tell people, I don't need nobody to carry me. I don't need you to hit your shots. I don't need you to do a damn thing on this game, but get on the spot so we got three so the game can start. And I'll take it from there. And he used to do that. And I can't get mad at him. That's my guy, man. Y'all know I'm gonna promote my guy. Y'all make sure I go over there and watch his stream. Rise is probably selling this shit right now. So you know it is what it is. But like I said, just play the game, just hoop, man. Uh up next, we got we got our uh, coaster saying, not gonna lie, you gotta be built different to survive this 2K community every day. I'm being told I fell off. Some days my videos do amazing and the very next day they do terrible. This shit isn't for the week, bro. And it's not. If you're in the 2K community, man, people just literally, this is a community built off waiting on somebody to, somebody can have the best moments in the world. This community is literally built off waiting for people to have their lowest moment. And when they have their lowest moment, you there catching them. Got to bitch in 4K. They just like this. This how they are right here. That's it right here. That's what they doing. Hollywood blonde stuff. Hollywood blonde shit, baby. Y'all let me know what y'all talking about. It doesn't get any better than this, baby. Hey, Rip Flying Brian. But you know, y'all can y'all believe that Stunning Steve Austin, AKA Stone Cold, was part of the Hollywood blondes, bro, and used to come in there. It doesn't get any better than, man, it used to be. That's when wrestling was, before wrestling was wrestling. But you know, it is what it is. It really isn't for the week, man. They ready for you to lose in 4K, and then they gonna post it and get two views, and then, then, some, then they hold audience go come tell you go play him play him bro i don't give a fuck about them shut the fuck up shut the fuck up i ain't dodging nobody i'm gonna play whoever out here but i'm not gonna sit here and play people all day long and they you know it is what it is last but not least that boy kai say dang damn madden pro players are complaining 
2K pro players are complaining and COD pro players are complaining. The gaming era for casuals is upon us. I got news for you, sir. The gaming era has always been for casuals. But I don't think 2K, I mean, like I said, bro, what y'all gotta realize is this. Y'all try to sit there. I, the thing that I hate about pro players and, and some, well, some pro players, I ain't gonna say all of them, but a lot of pro players is they put themselves up there like, like, bro, it's just a video game. So like you, they like they don't say like I'm better at the game than you. They try to act like I'm better than you. So when the so when the community come back and be like, yeah, fuck y'all. We don't care if y'all because y'all attitude and stuff. We don't care what the game does for y'all. None of that. Listen, ninety. 9.9% .9 of the people that play the game are casuals or they're a little bit hardcore. The pro scene makes up 0.00001% of the community. So really, to be honest, y'all lucky that they paying attention to y'all at all. Nobody gives a fuck about the pro scene, bro. It ain't about that. 99% of the people that play the game get on and play, play that. Nobody cares. So they know that. And they know if they ship the game, they're gonna help y'all out and they're gonna build game modes for the pros and they're gonna do things for the pros and put it outside of the regular game. But when you start alienating the regular fan base in favor of the pros, then you have an issue and your game is not gonna sell. And these people have the marketing numbers to see that. And then they know and they say, well, okay, well, why numbers falling off? Well, we going in the direction that the pros are saying, and then the dude gonna say, well, how much of the pros, how much of the percentage of players do the pros make up? They gonna say less than one percent. Then you know what, you know what, dog, the dude that run the company gonna say, man, f the pros. Just play, just make it for the casuals. And that's what we did last last year, and it went a little bit too far to the left. But we got a lot of people that were, and then this year they said we want skill and IQ to come back. And guess what? A lot of people are saying they don't like this game because skill and IQ is what reigns supreme, but that's what they asked for. And just like Downworks said, y'all ain't never, y'all said this is gonna take skill and IQ, but that's something that y'all has never had. So y'all is, is just waiting to be more ass. That's really what I'm seeing happening right now. And that's why a lot of people complaining and all that. If you get good, you should be able to adapt to anything. When I was playing basketball in college, I ended up going to a church league and they played in a, guess what I played in? A no dunking church league. So the big on the other team could challenge my shot every single time because he knew I wasn't going to put that shit on his head and make, put it on his head like a hat and make him wear it. He knew that wasn't going to happen. So he can challenge everything because he knew he wasn't going to get punched on. We still won the league. Why? Because great players adapt. You literally, they literally took dunking out of the, out of the game. A whole way to score, they took it out of the game. Kareem abdul Jabbar, they took it out of the game. He adapted and overcame. AI, they took his, they took his, uh, Reggie Miller, they took his kicking out of the game. He adapted and overcame. AI, they took his whole, a whole move from him. You can't even cross over no more. And he adapted and overcame MVP, all that stuff, man. Anyway, great players overcome. And, uh, you know, other people, you know, it is what it is, man. So if you're really that good at the game, you should be able to overcome because what made you better is not the bullshit that was in the game anyway. What made you better is the fact that you're better. So it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Are people just mad and just capping or are they just mad at other stuff? I don't know. Y'all let me know. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till the next time. Shoot a money ball like Steve Kerr. Pop it up, I got them pipes on reserve. Uh, pipe it up, 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 uh, pipe it up. I walk in the club just to pipe it up. I stand on the stage and I pipe it up. Get a regular hotel, I pipe it up. Go buy a bando,